Hey, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. For this video, we're going to take a look on how to liberate your village in Belright and why it's also very important to do so. So let's just jump right into it. In Belright there is at the moment uh, seven different villages around the map and each of them are occupied by brigands and these can all be liberated by you. First, let's go over why it's going to be important to do so. The first reason is going to be when you're getting to tier 2 buildings, there is going to be different requirements to be able to progress with your research. As an example here, we need to have a apprentice blacksmith to be able to get the footman's hat and the list will just go on here, different profession for different items and buildings. To get these citizens you will have to liberate the village they are settled in. At the moment there are 7 different professions and you can find different ones from each village. Herndine got blacksmith, weavers and farmers. Padstow have woodsmen and carpenters. Bradford healers and woodsmen. From Bradford we got healer, woodsmen and weavers. Farnworth got weavers, laborers and healers. Blackridge, Labor, Farmer and Carpenters, Horndale, Blacksmith, Engineers and Healers, and Cressmere, Labor, Engineers and also the Innkeeper. And this is the one that I found in my playthrough and feel free to drop a comment if you found another profession in other cities. Do keep in mind that some of them might need a higher trust level than Protector as well to be able to recruit them. So look it up before you decide on which city you want to liberate. Uh, first as there might be one profession that you need in more than one village but at a lower trust level. Another great thing is that you are going to be able to start to trade with a village as well. Simply open your map and click on the village icon and uh, this will pop up the trade option here. You can buy different items depending on from what village and also selling your own items as well here uh, for some extra coin. So how do you liberate a village? First you will need to have the trust level at protector and uh, once you do get it you will be given a quest to talk to the elder and you will also going to need to have the village bell tower research from your tech tree to continue. After the research is done and you can either talk to the elder and this will make it so all the brigands here will get aggro on you and you will have to start to fight them. You can also start to just blast on them before talk to the elder, either way works great. And then once you've defeated them, you will be able to move forward to the next step. Once the brigands are dead, you can now talk to the elder and the village will now be at the rebellion state. And you can start the progress of building the village bell tower wherever you prefer. You will have to deliver the items yourself to the construction site, but the villagers there will be crafting it for you so you don't have to worry about that. However, as soon as you deliver the last item, the tower will get complete and that will start a raid party that will march to the city that you are trying to liberate. The raid is at a decent uh, size and will start from the brigands headquarter. You can choose if you like to try it out for yourself or take a party with you and face them. And you can also choose to wait at the village uh, as the villagers there will also help you to defend it. And once they are all defeated you now have the town liberated and you are able to start to trade with the town and recruit the profession villagers uh, that you need to your own settlement. And once a town is liberated they will then start to send out raid parties from time to time here but now in smaller forces than the first one that you faced. You can also start to build different village buildings to improve that village as well and these buildings will also provide some extra renown to that village once completing them. 
And as of now, it's not that many buildings to choose from, uh, but the village house is going to increase the population of the village by two, adding more guards to it, so it's easier to defend the village. And once you get to tier 3 buildings, you will also be able to get the village training ground here. And I'm guessing that this will improve the village overall. Uh, not been able to unlock it myself though, but I think it's kind of self-explained, I feel. It would be cool if uh, this maybe make it so uh, the villagers get armor and better weapon. Uh, as of now, they're just uh, simple farmers, but we can at least increase those numbers up. I'll end the video with a clip from the first raid from liberating Herondin so you can see the full fight and maybe get a better understanding of what to face. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to drop a comment if you have any other tips or info regarding this. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!